Tales of the Neon Sea. Uh, this was free on Epic, and I know absolutely nothing about it. From the look of it, I assume it's like a classic adventure game, but I can't tell that for sure. Another thing I can't tell is whether or not its volume is way too high. Let me pull it down just a little bit, just in case. Unfortunately, I can't hear myself, and so I always assume that maybe the uh, audio mix is a little bit off. Let's hit new game and see what this is. Oh, gamepad, huh? Okay. Which controller do I have connected? There, there we go. Uh, but I didn't actually read the controls. So, hopefully, this is okay. What's past is prologue. I love warbly modern screen effects on pixel art. Huh? Where the hell am I? My head feels like it's gonna explode. Oh. Ah! Oh no. No. No, no, no. Game failed. What? Ah! Oh no! Well... Okay! 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 Fine! Fine! Alright. Yes! 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 Okay! Can I close the door on death? Uh. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh! RB to go faster, I guess? <laughs> I'm spraying death in the face! Oh no! Can I even go through this? Uh, no! Ah! I've escaped like the fugitive. Now he's got to go search every hen house, dog house, and whatever. Ouch! That hurt. Ugh. Can't believe I'm still alive. These fungi must have broken my fall. Is this a sewer? Ugh! Those things from before were simply unbelievable. Am I hallucinating again, or is this another one of the Noah's tricks? It's simply not possible for humans to move like that. And why would he appear here of all of a sudden? He even attacked me. Ugh, my head is pounding. From what I can recall, that lunatic enjoys torturing his prey in the dark. I hurt my wrist and ankle in the fall. I better fix these before he finds me again. Press tab... My memos? I don't have tab? I don't have tab. Oh, X? Is X my memos? Wait. Acquire hand part? Acquire foot part? Finish body restoration? Um. Ah, what is... Did I just see my hat run off? That fall must have banged me up even more than I thought. Mm. I'm not leaving here without my hat. All right. This guy might have foot part and hand part. Looks like this robot took a fall, too. Does he have foot part? Looks like maybe he does not have foot part or hand part. What about this guy? Does this guy have foot part? Okay, the, the, the fungus. Oh, what's this? It's unfortunate. There's no power. But the cable... Seems to be in good condition. Okay. Can I can I just take it? Is there a button for taking it? Hmm. I just want to look over here before I go after my hat. This fungus seems to be highly invasive. It's spreading everywhere. I better not go that way. Oh. Okay, fine. Fine! Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Did the steam scare it away? I know. I can use these valves and vents to release the steam. Oh, yeah. Did you figure that out? What does this do? This is going to be complicated.
There's my hat. Looks all right. I just don't feel right without my hat. So he can have his hat on the entire rest of the game, and they made like a special version of all of his animations with no hat just for this sequence. Okay, so I can go in here. It's got some kind of repair tool on its side. A repair room in the sewer. Wait, what's that? What's what? Um, no thank you. Oh, it's just an evil cat. Light cats need that qualifier. It's you? How did you get here? Go play somewhere else. The last thing I need is more trouble. Is this cat going to follow me now? Killed in one hit. What happened before you died? And do you have hand part? Ah! This flyer advocates roverism, and it seems to be about a group of people who believe in bison? That madman Noah is a believer of this bison. Pray to our bison! I decided that's how you pronounce that. Uh, he brings with him a birth twig, walks through the yard of God, and brings the lost one's vivid expectation by spreading God's waves. God of reception, we sing for you. Our bodies are flesh as well as iron, and you will guide us into fusion. All people sing for the praised God of fusion and communication. Bison, bison, bison. You are the king of the birds. You lead our lost souls. We will follow, you ha uh, follow your hands and embrace the terrain of gods. By that time, humans and robots will be fused into one being in the arms of God. So, it's so fascinating because, like, because this game is... I believe localized from another language into English, probably. Um, and so a lot of this stuff, like, I'm wondering what it sounded like in the original language it was written in. I'm just assuming that from the fact that there were only two languages uh, selectable up front. Uh, English and what looked like it might have been Chinese. Um, I'm not great at identifying uh, some some languages by their scripts. But... Uh, when there's only when there's a lot of different languages, you assume oh, it could have been any of them. But when there's only two, English and one other language, my assumption is usually that the other language is the original language, and they made it English because that's the 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 most common language spoken by the gaming audience. Electrical scissors, a little blunt but usable. Can I scissor you? Nope. I want to cut robot parts off robots and put them onto my body to make myself part robot. That is my goal. This must be a maintenance station. Used by pipeline workers. Before this place was abandoned, I should be able to recover from my wounds if I can restore the power supply. But I can't do anything about it until I find enough mechanical parts! Without power, it can't be operated. Are you mechanical parts? The cable is severed. I'll need to replace it. Okay, well, I found that other cable. The generator is completely dry. I'll need to find an alternative source to fire it up. I'll need to fill the generator with alternative power cells. There must be something around here I can use. Okay, so I need to find three thingies that look like power cells. Everything in there is broken. Huh, what's this? Ooh, a multifunction screwdriver. Okay, so I can dismantle machines. So let's go... So now that I've got the scissors, maybe that's what I needed to cut the... Uh, cut that wire. Okay, so let's screwdriver this guy yeah, meditate universal robotic ankle parts cool I got ankle parts now what do you bet the other guy now that I've got the screwdriver will have wrist parts cat's got an idea to eat it that's an electronic ro rodent why do we have electronic rodents cyborg rats what it's got a power sack inside of it. I'm pretty sure I saw some rat holes near the place where I fell. I should go there and find a way to catch some. Alright. So, wait. Cyborg rats? A 
professional mechanical wrist parts. Yep, that's what I thought. Cool. So now... Cat's chasing all the rats away. You scared of all the cyborg rats! Now what am I supposed to do? Meow meow. What? You want to go in there and catch some rats for me? Wait, what is happening right now? Are you sure? You completely mangled the last rat with your teeth. I guess you're my only option right now. I need three cyborg rat power sacks. Remember, you're not allowed to damage them. I'm counting on you. What? What? Okay. I need to jump on them when they can't see me. I am a cat now. What the heck? Okay, hold still. Turn around, rat. Turn around. Do they not turn around? All right, so I can jump across. That'll probably scare the rat. Okay. Can I walk off the edge? Looks like I can't. I think scaring these rats might be my only option. Let's... Oh, can I go through here? Yes, that is also in front of a rat. Is there a place I can go... That will not immediately scare a rat. Okay, they're just going in their little rat holes. It's not going well for me so far, but maybe this is intended? Wait, no, I don't want to go down. Oh, what? What? I was not expecting that at all. I wasn't doing that on purpose. Okay, so how do I get through that? Okay. I'm going to scare that rat. Oh, oh! when you scare the rats, they go in one hole and out another. Okay, I don't even have to push a button. I just, if I get close enough behind a rat, the cat will automatically get it, which is why it went after that one rat down there. I just happened to land behind the rat. Wow, this is bizarre. We've got all the energy pouches. Time to head back. What the heck is this game? You did it. You found three power sacks. They're all in perfect condition, too. <laughs> Malator wonders if cyborg rats carry computer viruses. I mean, probably. Don't get too cocky. You may have gotten these power sacks. But you're also the one who scared away the cyborg rats in the first place. So you suck, William. Take that, you crappy cat. Okay, let's... So we got all the power sources we need. And... We can grab this guy with the electric scissors. I think we're good. Oh, I cannot wait till I can move faster. Well, check out the proportions of my body. Look at my little tiny legs. They're so cute. I swear I'm holding the button to go faster. If I don't hold it, I go this fast. I haven't even checked out that door upstairs. Actually, I'm not sure if I can climb a ladder in my current condition. Alright, so first we gotta replace this wire. With the other wire. Then we've got to replace... Yes, there we are. Rat sacks! This kind of power supply can only conduct energy when the sources are arranged in order from weakest to strongest? Okay, so that didn't work. Maybe it goes here? Okay, yeah. Thing is... 
I can't tell which is weaker and which is stronger. Okay. I guess that's... All right. Cool. Fix me. No suitable parts for restoration. What, what are you talking about? I've collected a bunch of stuff. I would have to put the thing on there first. Okay. Ankle parts. Put these on my ankle. Oh, do I have to put both of them on there? There we go. Everything's ready to go now. I just hope this won't kill me. Ah, my face! Palm Pioneer presents... <laughs> what? Ah! What are we seeing? Ah! What are we seeing? I'm, is my life flashing before my eyes? So, oh wait. Am I starting at the end of the story? And then flashing back to the beginning? Interesting. Chapter one, the thread unravels. What, this guy likes lost? <laughs> but beep, beep, beep. Wakey, wakey, it's time to get up. Damn, you're so noisy. What the hell are you doing, BBX? You want me to throw you back into the furnace? I need to perform a routine checkup on your me mechanical parts. It's four days overdue. Sure, whatever. Just wait for me over there, and I'll come to you. I keep forgetting to skip ahead so I can read this dialogue faster. <laughs> okay, let's get this over and done with. Scanning body. Voop, voop. Ah, this looks like uh, a screen in Deus Ex. Warning! Warning! Based on the test results, the mechanical parts of your body are about to collapse. How's that even possible? Didn't I just get new knees? There's nothing I can do about the test results. Take a look for yourself. Half mechanical brain. My right lung. Biomechanical hands. Lower limbs. Mechanical arms. Artificial eyes. It's all garbage. You see? I didn't lie to you. Let me perform an overall maintenance. You do realize that you haven't changed any of my parts in the past two years, right? It's a miracle that I can still scan you at all, so stop making a fuss. And just where am I going to find parts for a relic like you, the museum? I should probably donate you to a museum so they can put you on display. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Calm down, I'm kidding. Head upstairs to the workshop. I'll give you a quick checkup. All right. A missed detective agency. What the? This is the guy I was just... Okay, whatever. What else here? Uh, an old picture with a sense of religious ritual. Neat. This morning's newspaper? Let's have a look. Seems like everyone's talking about Augusto's participation in the campaign. So this is kind of a retro future where people are still reading newspapers, but they also have, like, mechanical parts. It's interesting. The whole style is very reminiscent of, like, the Monkey Island days. You know, back when I was really excited that we had a VGA monitor and, and uh, you know, that we could handle, you know, this many colors. It was crazy. None of the post-production effects, of course, would have been possible back then, but... Okay, I don't actually know. Oh, man. This is implying a pretty large world. Like, there's multiple doors I can go through, stairs I can go up and down. Oh, I happened to choose the right place. This place is haunted! What's wrong? Why are the lights off? Didn't I tell you to wait for me at the interchange station? I, I think something is over at... There's something over at the armor! Huh? Oh, come on. You're a robot that's afraid of ghosts. Turn the lights on. The lights aren't working. I think the circuit downstairs has malfunctioned. Isn't there anything that still works in this place? Never mind. Let's find out what's going on here first. Oh, there's a key. 
cool. And a dead fish, I guess? Ah! Huh? I should fix the lights first. <laughs> okay. It's too dark ahead. I better go no further. Okay. I guess we'll turn the lights on. I can see just fine. Oh, wait. I don't have time to go downstairs. Fine. All right, our first challenge is getting out of this building. Yep. Ooh. Why are the circuits so messed up? I need to rotate the wire to connect both ports. Oh, what? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, interesting. I was just kind of poking around. I had no strategy. I'm, I'm, it's a miracle that worked. That's it. Time to go back and check the workshop. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Pfft. Ah, this place really is haunted. It's probably the cat, right? Stop being so paranoid. One more crazy word and I'll have you disassembled. According to my observations, I think it's a cat. A cat? Listen to that sound. It's difficult to hear clearly, but I'm sure that's a cat's meowing. The armor is stuck. I can't get it open. I need to figure out a way to save this little guy. According to the information I found in the archives, the armor once belonged to an ancient knight, and his spirit is said to live on inside the armor after his death. If the armor is separated from its weapon, the spirit can become enraged and place a curse on the one who does the armor. It's true. The curse is real. A weapon? I remember seeing a claymore lying around. I can't remember where I put it. So I have to give it its weapon back so it'll stop being cursed and abusing the cat? <laughs> Alright, sure. Sure, we'll do that. Um, what else we got? Oh, by the way, I really appreciate that this game highlights the stuff I'm supposed to interact with without me having to, like, manually poke around. It just makes things easier. <laughs> After playing The Fall, I needed to aim my gun at everything to find out if it was even interactive. It just feels like a vacation. And they're giving me other kinds of problems to solve. They're giving me a lot more sort of like, hey, here's a bunch of pieces. Rearrange them to make a puzzle. You know, uh, they're gi giving me a lot more of those kinds of puzzles than the classic adventure game puzzles. Um, and so it actually kind of makes sense for them to reveal more of the pieces of the puzzles. Um, because cause it's not it's not really about, did you find all the stuff? And can you do you know what thing to put in what place? It feels like it's... Oftentimes, the challenge of this game is meant to be more about solving those little kind of mini puzzles they put in front of you. All right. Anyway, some kind of article. Oh, look how fast I can run now. I can't climb. I guess we'll go try to find a claymore. There was another door I never went through. <sighs> All right. I'm sure this is it. Yep. <laughs> Claymore is for holding my socks. Yes. I pulled the sword from the stone. Anything else I should uh, look at while I'm here? Nope. I'm good. That is a spacious bathroom. Unless it's like meant to be sort of unfolded. Almost like... I don't know. Something in a Cubist painting? <laughs> like, it's actually a small bathroom, but they're just letting us see all of the walls. That actually... That would be an interesting... I feel like there's... It's almost like Fez, but not quite. I feel like there's potential there. Here's your sword. What? Oh, what? Now I'm possessed? Hey, isn't that William? So, you were the ghost in the armor. How'd you end up in there, you silly cat? Meow, meow, meow. Something isn't right about this armor. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Go home. I don't have any dried fish for you today. Okay. I totally just got possessed by a ghost. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> this game is bizarre. Okay, so I was expecting it to be some kind of like cyberpunk adventure. I wasn't expecting it to be like a hard-boiled detective and a, sort of a weird anachronistic, an anachronistic um, uh, sort of retro future with a ghost. <laughs> what is going on? All right, time to go downstairs. I don't have time. However, it does sound like somebody wants to talk to me and is banging on my door. So let me go see what's going on there. I will be right back. All right, yeah, just uh, my kids are up and we're starting to make plans. So at some point, I'll need to head out of here. But let's at least try to get out of this apartment. So what am I trying to do now? Now that I found the... I took care of the whole cat situation. And I've gotten myself possessed by a ghost. What's left to do? I was going to try to repair the robot, right? At some point. But the robot went to the wrong place, and then so I followed the robot to the wrong place. I don't think there's anything else here that's interactive. Just the door. Okay, so by trial and error, I should be able to figure out where I'm supposed to go. So this weird thing I have, at, at some point is the ghost going to take this thing over and start chasing me around? If I can't go downstairs, so I, maybe I just need to talk to the robot. We can finally go to the interchange station now. Oh, okay, that's what this is. Detecting. Oh, we got problems. Seems either the processor or the decoder isn't working. I remember seeing a processor on the first floor. There are no more decoders left, but it might be possible to get one from the other household appliances with a dismantling tool. Alright. So maybe now it'll let me go downstairs. So there were a lot of places in the fall where I was... Um, I basically, I would find, I would find things that would not have a use for a long time in the future, and and it kind of, it, it was kind of wide open and gave me access to a lot of places, and sometimes that was, you know, it was kind of helpful and freeing, and I could, you know, I could always find something to do. Other times it was like, if I didn't know where to go, there were so many options that it would feel I would have sort of choice paralysis about it. Um, so this game looks like it's very carefully meeting out what areas I have access to. So. Looks like this is probably not a room I can go into. I better repair BBX first. Oh, this might be my front door, actually. That's why it's so covered in locks. Because I love smoked salmon. Here's my living room. Oh, an urn. Old police department skill toffee. Now filled with cat food. What the... What? My, my sense of decor uh, leaves something to be desired. Why are you still here? Mrs. Perry is probably looking for you now. Meow. So the guy wants to play with me. Better pretend I didn't see him. So many places to go. What is this? Huh. Seems to be a processor in that box up there. Can't reach it. How to get up there? Need to find a way to retrieve that processor. There are many books about genetic diseases on the shelf. In order to catch Noah, I've done quite a lot of research in this area. I wonder if that guy's still alive. So, I don't know. Apparently that's a, a guy that I've had to fight before. Hmm. So, Ranithcore just said, uh, not a fan of Lost, huh? Uh, if you're talking to me, no, I actually am a huge fan of Lost. I thought Lost was great. It had its uh, weaknesses. Not every season was as good as every other season, but... Overall, I was very satisfied with that show and with sort of the sort of new style of serial television that it ushered in. 
Okay, so the game started with a bang. It started with me, you know, doing some life or death stuff, which felt pretty important. It has definitely slowed down the pace quite a bit. Oh, got it. So, Ran of the Cord, now I understand what you were saying. So, I was reacting to um, the many posters of uh, barely clothed women in this apartment, and I was kind of like, eh, this guy's decor is kind of weird. And so, the Ran of the Cord was, was pretending that I was talking about the lost poster on the wall. Now I understand where you're coming from. Um, okay, so I... So I need to find something that I can use to get that processor. Wait, what? What did that say? Oh, there's wizards living here? There are no little wizards living here? Ha ha ha. So the weird thing is I was able to interact with that without it highlighting. I thought everything I could interact with was highlight. Okay, so here's the problem. I don't remember anything upstairs being interactive. At some point, is the cat going to come through that vent? Oh, right. So the cat is supposed to get that thing down for me? Here's some dried fish. If you help me, I'll give you some delicious dried fish. How does that sound? Not interested. What, you don't want dried fish? I thought it was your favorite. Bet this cunning little thing just wants me to play with him. Get me what I need. I'll take you for a walk. Meow, 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 meow. We're going to have some fun outside, right? Once I'm done here, I'll take you for a walk. Just get that box down for me first. Okay, so this cat is, like, intelligent. Like, earlier, he could actually hear what the cat was saying. So, that's interesting. Nice work. So, uh, here's that dried fish we agreed on. Meow. You don't want it? All right. I know you want to go outside. Just give me a moment to replace BBX's faulty parts. We'll be right back. All right. So, we got the processor. And then he said that there might be appliances we can disassemble if we found a disassembly tool. But I don't see anything like that around here. Why do I have so much armor around here? What is, what is up with me? What is my deal? Well, maybe there's a disassembly tool that's, like, in the one of these other rooms, and I just it's only highlighted now that I need it. Just gotta run back and forth until something's highlighted. Oh, what's this? How'd this watch end up here? It's ironic how I didn't even give it a second look back then. Okay. Guess I got a watch now. Any kind of tool up here? Nope, just the guy I'm walking around. Ha ha ha. Um, yep, yeah, nothing here. I guess we'll go back up to the attic? This is just a poster, right? Yeah. What else? Oh, oh, we got stuff. The tool to dismantle the decoder should be locked in here, but I can't recall the code. I need to quit drinking. Pfft. Yes. Oh, a code reference I, table I designed. I used to be crazy about stuff like this. Hmm. As a, if you forget the code, ask Horace for help. Okay. Go down and look at this dude. Where was that Horus poster again? Was it in here? Okay, wait, it's 
You got a seven and a... What the... Okay. I'm going to print screen, open up a graphics program, <laughs> and paste it in. Okay, so now I've got reference. So it had like a seven and a weird thing, another weird thing, a three. A, okay, it's not that easy to read. It had a seven, three, and a couple of twos. Then it had a bunch of other symbols too, and so I'm not sure if those are going to be relevant. Okay, so seven is a down arrow. Three is an I. Two is a diamond. So it could be down arrow, I, diamond, diamond. Let's try that. Oh, wait, not that kind of down arrow. Down arrow, I, diamond, diamond. Okay, that worked. Universal Electronic Dismantler. All right. Now let's do that. So, hey, again, so that's that's why they're not worried about highlighting every object and giving me the ability to just, you know, just sort of scour the world and uh, and interact with, it, with it, and immediately see what what I can interact with and what I can't, because most of the puzzles aren't really about finding things in the world. They're about solving the puzzles that pop up on the on those little mini screens. Washing machine seems even older than the antique robot. Did I did I get something from that? How do I see my inventory? Can I see my inventory? Okay, so it looks like I didn't get anything from that. If this is dismantled, I need to go to the kitchen to get booze in the future. Not gonna happen. Okay, what do I want to dismantle then? I just got to try it on everything, basically. I still play with it, so I'm not about to take it apart. Well, then it, it could just be anything. I'm just going to walk around until I find the thing. So I guess this isn't really a puzzle. This is a character revealing moment. Like the thing he's willing to dismantle is going to say something about who he is as a person. Probably the shower, right? That makes sense. All right. Well, I think I had there's another kitcheny type room elsewhere so let's head that direction <laughs> cock this reminded me that those arrows that i was just calling arrows are actually called chevrons you are correct the cat is just waiting to go outside all right what else can i disassemble anything in here What about in there? Aha, lots of appliances in here. This fridge's decoder is also broken. Oh, okay. Is a decoder really a, a thing? <laughs> this machine is too old to have that chip. There we go. Laundry. That's what this guy doesn't need. I've collected all the parts I need. Let's go back to the workshop. All right. We're going to go back to the workshop. Ugh. I like how my hands just always stay in my pockets. It's like I'm a little cold all the time. Seems either the processor or the decoder isn't working. Right, but I've got these things now, right? I've got them now. Do I just stick them on the robot? How you doing? I've replaced the broken parts. Now it's time to go to the interchange station. Okay, do we just... 
Oh, this. Okay. Nice. Chips are fixed. Let's test the electronic signals. Match the frequency to the preset shape by turning the button. Okay, so which one I'm on? There we are. Next. There we are, and next. So try to get. The, so this one is the speed. Trying to get the speed to match. This one's the height, and this one is the width. Okay, we're done. That should do it. Let's try restarting BBX. How do you feel now? Beep. Hey, what's going on? BBX? Beep, beep. Can you still talk? Z -z -z -z. Oh, great. I ruined him. Damn it, it exploded. Uh, BBX, still with me, buddy? Looks like BBX has activated its uh, emergency hibernation mode. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg to find a mechanic. I'll have to buy the parts and fix it myself. That's what you just tried. Don't worry, BBX. I'll fix you. Probably. Guess it's time to take that cat for a walk. Let's head out to the Neon Sea, kitty cat. I assume that that's where we're going, the Neon Sea. These are tales of the Neon Sea. Oh, yeah. Looks like the Neon Sea. Oh, did he just ditch me for a female cat? He was begging me to play with him just a minute ago. Guess gals before pals stands true, even for cats. Oh, well, I need to revisit the repair shop anyway. All right, so now that we are out here in the Neon Sea, we have done what the title promised us. Uh, and I think we're probably about ready uh, to put an end to this session. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, there'll be a button right there. Uh, if you want to play, you know, watch me play adventure games and things like that. I'll put the things there. I just can't even talk anymore. I should probably go upstairs and have some lunch.